So a few people have reached out to me since I started doing my channel a little differently and they say, you know, I'm a little surprised at the direction that you've decided to go, but I totally regard that you have the right to do that. At the same time, I understand that you suffer through some excruciating, unusual abuses, and I'm really starting to believe you. At first, I didn't want to believe that anyone could conceive that, but the truth is, it is true. That abuse happens in America, and we shouldn't do that. It's one of the reasons I've become a pagan, because people who are Christian abused me. They were people in my family of origin, and people in my family of choice. And I don't want to participate in that. You see, people have the right to choose their philosophy for life. And my all my life I've been Christian Confucian, or Confucian Christian. And I've loved Mencius and Lao Tzu and other people like that. But most people have heard those names before, but they haven't necessarily read their works. And in my life I've gone to metaphysical classes, which isn't really the right title for them, but it's a great way to handle off-color or different spirituality classes that talk about everything under the sun that people don't speak about in Christendom. But the truth is what it has done is made me a well-rounded person in the ways of the world as well as the ways of the Lord. And as a pagan, I can tell you I prefer being pagan because I receive every day the magic of God. I'm guided to good places. I'm guided to meet people. But it's always interesting how people shift when they have no principles of the Lord. You see, a person who's really loving and kind in the beginning can turn immediately and be tainted to play a game on your life, put their hands in your pockets, steal photographs of your wife, or take on images that you didn't want to show them. And openly those are the people that steal your cell phones and do damage to your life. And then there's other people who work in retail shops that don't really care that they're ruining their companies by their inappropriate employee behavior and their attitude is, so what? I can just move and get a job anywhere. And they actually do that. They shift their hours to go find another job so that if they lose the one they're screwing up, they can continue on in their illegal behavior in a way that makes their family money but it still harms someone, and it harms themselves. Because their attitude is, if I can get away with this, what else can I get away with in America? And we just can't have that. We cannot have people thinking we have the right to steal from people. We do not need to live in that sort of abject mind of poverty. That you earn what you earn based on your own earnings and your own mind. But when you steal something from someone else to earn a living on someone else's mind and someone else's creativity and someone else's work, you've lied. And nobody likes a liar. You see, we all have things that we lie about, is what every expert on the world, especially people in Secret Service, FBI, CIA, and other people like me might tell you, that everybody lies. But the only question is, what do they lie about? Because there are little white lies we say to be politically correct and polite to our family, friends, and communities. But then there are others' information that is nobody's business and that we don't disclose. But then there are liars in social networks that think they have the right to take private information that they were never given with by permission and ruin a life with it. By disclosing private information, confidential information, and ruining our concept of privacy through gossip and inappropriacy. So let's just be clear. Who are you today in front of God? What's your behavior like in front of Jesus that you claim to love? And what is it that you're doing in front of Muslims or Muhammad that it you is where your heritage has come from. Because what you're doing is humiliating yourself and destroying people's rights to like or appreciate your community.